In 1980, Terry Fox reached his goal of raising $1 for every Canadian during his Marathon of Hope. Since his passing just shortly after that run, Canadians have raised over $750 million for cancer research. Today we gather at Brock University for the 37th annual Terry Fox Run for Cancer Research. Expecting over 600, somewhere between 6 to 700, uh, which would be a little bit up from last year. And uh, we think that with the Brock uh, students and, uh, and the more exposure that we've had. Really nice to drive into Brock and see the students out in the, out in the front of the parking lot holding up that sign, Terry Fox lives here. What does that mean to you? It's really cool to see the students who are around 19 to 21, the same age as Terry was when he fought this. And they look at that and I think they're getting that courage that, that you know what, I, I may be only 20 years old, but I can really make a difference. I can do something that's going to impact others. So it's really neat to start seeing that type of um, uh, energy and, and that drive in them. Yeah, it, it's really cool to pass it on to the next generation. The Nitsopoulos family acted as honorary captains for this year's run. Well, being here today for the Terry Fox run and his uh, influence that he had across Canada, for us to be captains today, we're honoured to be here and support Terry Fox and his legacy moving forward. What does Terry Fox mean to you as a Canadian? I remember being in school every year in September to do the Terry Fox run. He always raised money and always did something. But it's nice to be a little more involved in it now. Do you have a particular fundraising goal in mind for today's run? Yeah, we're, we're hoping to, to, to get over that 60,000, 70,000 mark. Uh, that's what we're hoping for. But, uh, you know, in, in the tie-in this year with Brock, because um, so far we've um, the Terry Fox Foundation has given over $600,000 to fund two cancer research labs here. And there was just an announcement last week that they've given another $5 million to fund those two projects that, that encompass two fantastic national teams. So, so it's really neat. The money that we're raising here, we're getting way more back into St. Catharines and into Brock here for cancer research. Michael, as a cancer survivor, how important is it to, for you to see this many people out here at the Terry Fox starting line? Well, I think it's very important that we continue getting the support for, to raise funds because I'm, I'm a beneficiary of those, that fundraising. Obviously, I went through chemo and, and all, every bit of money comes into it for research and for treatment. You know, it, it kept me alive, so I really appreciate that. And I see a lot of people out here, which means there's still a great interest in being out there to help, help those that need help, right? In Canada's 150th year, it's clear that many of those who ran, walked, or biked today look up to him as the greatest Canadian of all time. When I was 12 years old, I was diagnosed with cancer. And from that point, my whole life, I really looked up to Terry Fox. But especially at that point, I was actually diagnosed with the same type of cancer as him. And having... Um, such an ins inspirational and influential role model to push me through my cancer treatment meant everything to me. In fact, uh, his legacy and the dollars raised from his run led to the advancements that actually probably were the difference between him not surviving and me surviving. It's very close to my heart. My mother passed away when I was three of cancer, so uh, she used to actually do this run when she was still alive, so I, I like to contribute and do it each year, try to pass it on and it, I just love the cause. I love how much money. I'm actually going to do one of the tours after to see how much research and how much money this all our funds go to and I'm just really grateful that we have something like this to help hopefully cure this someday. We're doing something that's going to continue another 150 years and that we're, we're going to make that difference and we're going to cure this cancer. Mike Balsam reporting for The Source.